हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल आर यू ओके आई होप सो आर यू इगरली वेटिंग फॉर योर इंग्लिश क्लास यस वेरी गुड आई वाज आल्सो ईगर टू टीच यू इंग्लिश ओके वेल नाउ वी विल बी टुगेदर फॉर वन पीरियड डूइंग आवर इंग्लिश लेसन फ्रॉम नाउ एंड इन टुडेज लेसन do you know what we are going to do we are at the end of lesson 2 or unit 2 grade 8 okay so now for one period keep your book ready with you okay well graded students and even others who want to learn some writing as well as others content here can stay here with the Listen, okay. Join the lesson. Ready? Good. First, I am going to tell you what content we are going to cover in today's lesson. Okay. Well, the contents for today's lesson are writing to project work and extra bit. We will do three things, three contents mainly, and within writing second, we are going to. practice some writing and writing email okay writing email and in project work there is writing poem a task of writing poem and third one extra bit you will practice some extra bit that is expressions used in permission okay in permission means granting permission denying permission but okay so be ready with this content okay book and everything you need to have with you well let's start the content today's contents in the beginning i want to ask you few questions now first question what is an email do you have any idea what an email is have you ever written it okay Now we will practice it today. Next question: Do you have an email ID? Do you? Okay, let me know how many of you have email ID. Would you raise your hand? Very few. Okay, anyway, some of you have email ID. Most of you do not. Okay, okay. Anyway, that's all right. Now, next question: Have you ever sent or received any email? those who have email id have you sent or received email very few okay good good and next question what do you need to send or receive an email what do you need can you just stand up somewhere in the open space and send email no then what do you need device any device do you need yes of course you need some device okay and well do you need these things either laptop or even mobile works okay or a computer and what do you need is network okay your device need to be connected to techno technology or let's say your device should be connected to internet to send or receive email is it so yes you know this now let's come to the lesson what is there okay the first writing task what is given story the email given below okay what is there in your book this email is given isn't it well now to this is email id to whom the email is written and asking for permission to use the hall this is what subject and dear madam let's read it okay how is it written it is an immense pleasure that our school is celebrating its platinum jubilee and next month and organizing a short cultural program on the occasion i feel honored to be selected as the coordinator of the program I with my teachers and friends have planned detail for the program 
Indeed, participants have asked for permission to use our auditorium hall during lunch break to rehearse. Is it okay if they use the hall? Would it be alright if they practiced there for a couple of days? I look forward to your positive response. Thank you. With warm regards, Kabirja. Now, here, one request email is written. Is it? So, we talked what email is just before I asked you the question, didn't I? This is an email. Is it? Email means later. Later in electronic form, isn't it? Now, here, this is the structure of writing an email. Now, as you are going to write another email, here, learn what the meaning is of this letter, okay, this email. And learn the structure of writing an email. Okay, here, who has written this email? Who is this? Who has written this email? You can see here. Who has written? Kabirja. Good. To whom? To who is it? Who is this email directed to or addressed to? This is Madam is given, isn't it? Dear Madam. Probably the principal of this school. And then why has Kabir written this email? He has written this to us. Yes, he is asking for permission to use the auditorium hall. During the day or what time? During lunch break. Okay. Well, who, who, who is Kabirza? Do you know this? Yes. I feel honored to be selected as coordinator of the program. Now, he is the coordinator of the program. Now, next Later, you are going to write response to it. So, you should know the meaning, why he has written. Okay? Well, now, let's talk about few structure of email. What you need to do. What you need to have to write an email. Contents of the email. See here. One is sender's email ID. When you are going to send email, you must have your email ID first. Is it so? Can you send email without your email ID? No. Well, this is one part. Let's not say contain, but this is what you must have. Okay? And receiver's email ID you need to have another. Okay? To whom you are writing to? Okay. That person, person who this email is directed to, sent to. And next, the content is subject, okay, that is space for writing subject. So, you need to write what subject you are writing on, okay. Then salutation or greeting, for example, with dear madam, okay, that is one salutation or greeting. How you address the person you are writing to. Well, next, body of the message. Body means beginning or let's say just opening main writing main message and closing everything. Okay. Body means for example, if you start with thank you for your email that is opening. Okay. If you are writing response and body main message and closing as well. And finally, you need signature text. Okay. Now, where all these parts go in an email. Let's see one email and analyze it. Okay? Okay, see here. This is an email written by a student to her teacher. Okay? Now, here, this is receiver's email ID. Okay? To whom the email is sent to. Okay? This is saraswati dp at gmail.com. This is a receiver's email ID. Next, this is subject. Sick leave is the subject. Okay, the place where you write subject. In email, when you write, their subject is written where you type 
the subject itself. Well, then to whom is it addressed? Sir, dear sir, is it? Now, I am writing to request sick leave from June 5. I will be undergoing surgery and at the recommendation of my doctor, I need to be off of my story and work for two weeks in order to recover. I hope to be back to school on June 25. Please let me know if you have any questions. Regards, Amu Magar, class 8, roll number 1. So this is one email written by a student of grade 8 to the class teacher. Okay. Now, here just analyze where these parts of the letter are. Now, the first one here, what is it? This is receiver's email ID. Is it? Okay. Receivers. Next, a bit below, sick leave. What is this? This is, what is it? Subject. Okay. That is subject. Now, third one, <coughs> dear sir, what is it? Okay, salutation or greeting, is it? Now, this one, what is it? What is it? Everyone, please loudly, buddy, very good. Okay, this is buddy of the email. Okay, this is buddy of the email. Now, I am writing to the request sickly from June 5, this is opening beginning a uh, letter or beginning an email and this one please let me know if you have any question that is closing. So, opening main part closing main message closing everything make one buddy ok. And then finally regards Amumagar class 8 rule number 1 that is what that is signature text signature text does not mean only signature you make ok that is name or sender's identity written at the end of email is signature text ok that is signature text. Now you know what the parts of an email is do you yes you do ok you know everything. Now B task B what is there? Imagine you are the head teacher. Write a reply email responding to the request made by Kabir Jha to use the hall. Okay. You have recently read in task A, you have read an email written by Kabir Jha requesting the principal to let them use the auditorium hall. Okay. Now, as you are principal or head teacher, Suppose you are head teacher, you receive that email. Now you should write back to Kabirja. Okay? You should send one email to Kabirja, either giving permission or denying permission to use the hall. Can you do? You know the parts of the email. Can you or not? Yes, you should try now. Okay? Okay, let's start doing it. But before we start, say here. You are not using computer. Do you use computer there? Okay. Now, when you are writing in your exercise book, okay, when you are writing in, in exercise book, you can take one page, okay, you don't need to tear it out, just start in your exercise book. You can draw lines here, write from, to, and subject as here, as given here, okay, from to subject. In from, you can write your email. Okay? So, when you type email, on the top, from is there. Okay? And your email ID autom automatically comes there. And then to means the receiver's email ID, you write here. Subject, whatever you, subject you are writing to, writing on, write here and start with salutation okay, in your exercise book. When you are doing in classroom 
or exam or anywhere when you are not using computer or laptop you can write this way you don't need to write date there because date in email is not needed automatically that date goes okay so from two subject salutation body and then end or signature text okay remember these things now prepare your page okay exercise book and start writing from if you do not have your email id just write imaginary email id or you can use the same email id to reply okay to kabirja well here kabirja has written one email to head teacher there one email id is given same email id you can use okay where which you can write here in from and to just create similar email id kabir's email id okay and then write here subject and start with dear okay now please uh, here i have received one writing from one of your friends okay one of your friend has given me one sample writing writing she has done she has written this email in this page of paper okay well as she is the head teacher she has written this response email to kabirza let's read what is there okay from what email id which email id do you use here and from same email id that kabirza used to send the letter okay send the email so same k a r n a r a s h m i s a r l a h i at gmail at the rate gmail dot com is sender's email id because teacher the head teacher is writing to whom to kabirza so to kabirza at gmail dot com subject regarding the use of the hall now you can start with salutation here dear kabir thank you for your inquiry regarding the use of the auditorium hall of course you can use the hall during lunch break if the hall is not occupied however as a leader of the program you must inform the students not to remain in hall when the lunch break is over and also tell them that they should manage their lunch time and rehearsal time within the lunch break i hope you as a coordinator of the cultural program will contribute to making the program a grand success regards karna kumari mahato okay so this is the reply email written by the head teacher to to whom kavir okay now in the beginning kavir ja sent one email requesting the head teacher to allow them to let them use the hall during lunch break now she has written reply email giving permission or denying permission good G giving permission to use the hall okay in the same way you can write another email on your exercise book okay in following the format similar to your friends format and then here in your email either you can grant permission or deny permission okay well you can also write email not letting students use the hall or denying permission to use the hall okay you can give some reason like the hall is being used these days okay or in the evening there is program and if you go there you may make it dirty so something like that you can write anyway so it's your choice whether you grant permission or deny permission okay you can do it very well now come to another project work in project work what is there compose a poem on any one topic you like 
and share it in your class. Are you any good, good at writing poem? Yes? Okay, good, good. If you can, you should compose poem now. Okay, how do you compose poem? Have you ever read poem? Several. Okay, good. Well, and then now you should be able to write as well. What is there in poem? Let's come to this. Okay, some guidelines. I have. I, I, I'm going to tell you some guidelines. Okay, you should follow those guidelines and then try to compose the poem. Simple poem. Okay, now write a title on the top of the page first. Okay, write title and then write short lines related to the title. Whatever theme you are writing on, whatever title you are writing on, or on that title, you should write some short lines. And those lines should, should be in some rhyming pattern. What does rhyming pattern mean? Do you know this? Rhyming words are there. You have read it, haven't you? Good, good. Okay. Those are rhyming words. Create some kind of rhymes in those lines. At the end of the lines, some similar sounds can be there. And write at least two stanzas, each with either two or four lines. Better to write four lines. Four lines, one stanza. Four lines, another stanza. Write at least two stanza. Okay. You can write four stanza, five stanza, longer than that as well. Okay. So, these are not the rules of poem anyway, but this, these are just simple guideline. Okay. Following these, you can try writing poem. Can you? Okay. Let's try. Well, now here, I have just a simple poem here, uh, I've written here, how you can do it. See here, friend, okay, choose any one topic, any one subject to write a poem on. You can choose friend, you can choose school, you can choose education, mother, family, environment, love, or any other title you can choose, okay and write one line in the beginning and write another line parallel to it means uh, almost equal in length almost equal not exactly equal and that should have some kind of rhyme at the end well sometime you can create rhyme uh, well we'll talk about rhyme later again okay? and you can create a uh, first rhyme, line rhyming with second line third line rhyming with the fourth line or you can create first line rhyming with the third, second with the fourth that way also. Now let me read it. Now friend, you are the reason for my life and living. You gave me vision, that's the greatness of giving. See? You are the reason for my life and living. You gave me vision, that's the greatness of living. Now, what is the rhyming pattern here? You can see, first line rhymes with the third line, reason and vision. Is it so? Good. And second line with the fourth line. Okay. Similarly, al always be worth, always be kind. Put your steps forth using your mind. So find rhyming pattern here. First line with, with fourth line. Sec, second line with, sorry, first line with third line. Second line with fourth line. Okay, that is the way. Is it? Now, last stanza. There are three stanza. Be always on my side for wonder and worry. Share your every bite, even in the state of hurry. Now, what is the rhyming pattern here? Again, first with third, second with fourth. Now, similar rhyming structure is given here, is it? First, third, second, fourth. One stanza is over. Next, again, first, third, second, fourth. That way, you can create. Okay? Just write something about friend here, okay, short lines, 
and some kind of rhyming pattern can be there. Or you can also write first line rhyming with second line that way. Okay, let's try another one. Here I have written another. The theme is summer. The title is summer. You can write some lines about summer, but last words should rhyme with each other. Okay, let's read it. We gather at park enjoying a day. What do you do in summer? We gather at park enjoying a day, appreciate the weather and respect we pay, swimming and outing and having fun, cheering and thinking, cool days are gone. What is the rhyming pattern here? First rhyming with second, third rhyming with fourth. Is it? Day, pay, fun, gun. Is it? Similarly, Blossoming flowers making us cool. We all feel happy going to school. Loveliest time ever and ever. This is the season we forget neighbor. Okay, this is what similar rhyming pattern is there. First line with second line. Third line with fourth line. Cool, school. Ever, neighbor. Okay, this is the way you can write. But this is not the only way of writing poem, but simple poem you can write this way. Creating some kind of rhyming pattern at the end of line, you can create poem, compose poem. Okay, can you do? Simply you can write. You can write about your own friend, your family, think about any topic and start writing. Some line you can write easily, can't you? Good. Okay, great, great. Okay, you can do. Now. Next, see here, extra bit. Finally, we will read this extra bit. Here, expressions used in asking, giving and denying permission. There are some expressions that are used to ask for permission, give permission and deny permission. Okay? So, this is asking for permission, this is giving permission. And this is denying permission. Is it so? Now, what expression can you use to give permission or ask for permission in the beginning? Okay. Several expressions are there. <coughs> for example, can you read it? Can I live at four o'clock? Okay. Well, can I live at four o'clock? Excuse me, do you think I could try this one? Next, would it be possible to open the door? Next, do you mind if I try these shoes on? Next, I was wondering if I could bring my pet here. Next, any chance of borrowing your camera for a few days? Next, may I have your permission to use your mobile phone once? Okay, these are asking for permission. When somebody asks for permission, the first one, let's try. Can I? Can I leave at 4 o'clock? Suppose you are in school. Okay? You are in school. You use this. Okay? You. Can I leave at 4 o'clock? Suppose your teacher has told you to stay, has requested you to stay till half past 4 in your school. And you make a request. Now, you have urgent task to go home. You can ask, can I leave at 4 o'clock? Can I leave at 4 o'clock? Now, if you ask this way, now you are teacher, what may be the possible response of your teacher? Okay, teacher. Okay. Either he or she say, yes, certainly, or I'm afraid you ca can't. Yes, certainly. Okay, this is one. Or I'm afraid you can't. Another possible response may be, I'm afraid you can't. You can't.
Okay. This is giving permission, giving permission, and this is denying permission. Is it so? Well, giving permission, denying permission, and this one asking for permission. Is it? Well, three possible ways are there. Now, other ways of giving permission? Yes, of course, giving permission. By all means, sure, that's okay. Go ahead. Why not? That seems perfectly acceptable. Okay, these are some ways of giving permission. And denying permission? I'm afraid you can't. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, that's not allowed. Or I'm sorry. Or you are not allowed to do that. Sorry. No way. So these are some ways of denying permission. When you ask, you, your teacher may also say, no way. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. These are some possible ways of denying permission. Okay. Now, you can try asking for permission to your friend, asking for permission to do something from your friends or others and expect either giving permission or denying permission. And your friends will either give permission or deny permission using these expressions. We have tried in speaking as well, haven't we? Yes, in the same way, these are other expressions used in asking for permission giving permission and denying permission okay can you use them yes try using them in speaking okay every time in the class or wherever you are you can use these expressions for asking for permission giving permission when you want to borrow pen from your friends use this permission sorry use these expressions when you want to get book of your friends for some time you can ask for permission and that time you can use these expressions. Can you? Great. Okay, now we are almost at the end of this unit. Okay, in this unit, we did two readings, one listening, two writings, and so many th other things grammar, speaking, all these things. Okay, and we have learned so many ways of asking for permission and giving permission, denying permission as well, haven't we? Well, now, next time you will be doing another lesson next time. So, we will meet again in another class. So, till then, have a good time. Keep practicing all these things till that time. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.